Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel TV. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today, I'm excited because we're doing something we've never done before. We are doing a cooking segment. Now, this is something that we've talked about doing a whole lot. We both like to cook a lot and um, it's something that <laughs> I try and do often. We will definitely be doing it more when we move into our own house, but currently we are using my parents' kitchen. So we're in my parents' house using their kitchen to cook some queso today. And uh, let me go ahead and start this video by saying, if you're looking for a health conscious recipe, this is not it. This is full of fat and sad and calories. And it's what we do when we're in quarantine and we are stress eating. So if you're looking for something that is going to make you hate yourself and love yourself all at once, then this is the right recipe for you. If you're looking for something that's gonna be healthy, I would probably uh, move on. But so, so that being said, we are stuck in quarantine. We are in lockdown can't go out and get Mexican food like I always like to do. We can't go do anything. So we're going to make queso here. This is queso that personally, I'm not really a recipe follower. I have made this variation of queso quite a bit. I do it a lot for parties and stuff like that. We used to hold a lot of parties at our apartment in Wilmington and I would pretty much always make it because it's super easy. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I took half a pound of ground beef. That's half a pound of ground beef. It's a little bit brown because we had it in the freezer and then we took it out of the freezer and then it defrosted then and I put it back in the freezer because it was, um, we didn't use it in time. So I took it back out of the freezer. So it's been through a lot this ground beef, but it's fine, it's good, it's good. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of ground beef, half a pound to be exact, in, in this little man's right here. And I always started off on like medium high. Um, my parents do have a gas stove. It is something that we opted to do for our own house as well. So we will have a gas burner as well because I don't like uh, electric at all, personally. I'm not a fan of it. Next, I'm going to take half a pound of ground sausage. It is Italian sausage. I don't really care because it was uh, $2.50 a pound. So I, uh, I bought cheap because we're always poor. And right now, Nikki's uh, currently been laid off of two jobs and uh, we're all stuck in our houses and I'm uh, working like a couple hours in the middle of the night and uh, we're doing our best. We're also buying a house. So it's just a, it's a time to save money right now. All right, so half pound of ground sausage and we're going to let that all cook down. I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. The next thing, now that my hands are not uh, meat covered anymore, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to season our meat. So I have salt, good old classic salt. Like I said, I don't use recipes, so like a good amount. Eyeball it. Trust yourself, trust your instincts. Um, chili powder. I like to put personally a lot of chili powder in there because that's what's gonna give it that nice uh, nice flavor. Starting to sizzle a little bit, so I'm gonna just start breaking up the meat so that it doesn't start solidifying altogether. I'm also gonna turn it down just a tiny bit. Uh, cumin. Cumin is my secret ingredient. I put it in literally everything. It just makes it nice and meaty. Uh, in terms of the flavor, I think you can put it literally in anything and give it that nice little depth of flavor that is missing often from our food. Uh, I've also got some garlic salt, which is unopened, so let me open that up really quick. All right, a little bit of garlic salt because garlic goes in everything. And then I have tahine because tahine is the spice of life. If you ask my opinion, it should be in everything, just like cumin. I'm just gonna do a little bit though because it does have just like a touch of like spiciness and the people that I am cooking it for do not like spice. So here we are, here I am, sad and not spicy enough. All right, so next I'm gonna put in the vegetables. I did a few stalks of celery. They were relatively small, so I think I did about four of them. I did one medium sized jalapeno pepper. I did leave in the seeds because it's going to be a really large pot. So I think that's gonna add just a little bit of spiciness. If I were making for myself, it would have more jalapenos and I would put hot sauce on it too, but I'm, like I said, I'm not. So, um, and then I've got a diced red onion because red onion makes everything better as well. Oh no. Man down, man down. All right, the meat is just barely starting to brown. Now we have the vegetables in there to cook down as well. The final uh, spice that I'm gonna put in is just a little bit of black pepper, but I was looking for a black pepper grinder and then I got distracted because the one that I wanted was not available and I forgot to pull it out. So now I have to go dig it out. Nice little pepper grinder. I'm just gonna do a couple good grinds. All right, 
I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit higher now just so that it starts to caramelize and do all that good stuff that we're trying to get it going. It will start sizzling and popping here in a second. And once that starts happening, once I can hear it start caramelizing, I'm actually going to put in a shot of gold tequila to give it a little bit more of depth of flavor. And of course that will definitely cook out by the time this is all said and done. So it's not like we're gonna get drunk off this. We could, I could put a lot more tequila in there, but I think, uh, I think that might make it hard to function the rest of the day because it's like 1.30, so. But what does it matter? We're in quarantine life. Quarantine life is all about self-indulgence. So that's about, you're treating yourself right now because we're all stressed out. So self-care is important. So eat lots of queso and drink lots of alcohol. That's my recommendation. As a CDC professional, that's my recommendation. All right, so it's starting to sound really, really pretty now. Got that nice sizzling popping sound. If you're into like ASMR, this is probably really like doing something for you. I'm gonna put just a touch more chili powder and cumin in. A lot of times I will add a packet of taco seasoning, but I did not pick any up at the store because I was not thinking and I don't have any taco seasoning in the house. So I'm just gonna make up for that with a little bit extra cumin and chili powder. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the tequila now. Oh, you can smell it immediately. It's like, oh, tequila. So it's great, like in the best way. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down and let that cook for just a little bit. And while that is happening, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of what we are going to be putting in here. Okay, so I let the meat and the vegetables cook down for about five minutes on medium high heat. They are all looking really nice and men melded right now. The meat's definitely cooked all the way through and the vegetables are looking nice and soft. Of course, they're gonna need longer to cook, but that being said, it's going to cook a lot longer anyway to get the process done. So I did add off camera a little bit of lime juice, about a shot's glass worth, about the same amount we put the tequila in. Um, normally I would like to use fresh limes and lime zest. We don't have any of those. We have one in the house because they, they didn't have any at Aldi when we went. So lime juice is gonna to have to be the substitute for it right now. Uh, so that being said, we are going to jump into the next part of it. So the first thing I like to do is once again, I eyeball everything. So I apologize. I don't have exact proportions, but, uh, I, I'm going to eyeball. So we're going to take sour cream and I have half of an open one right now. I did grab another full one cause I may, I'm making a really large portion. I don't normally make this much, but I figured it's something easy that everybody can have in the, the fridge and we can all pull it out and heat it back up and, and snack on it as much as we want to. So I'm making a big portion of this. Um, normally I would use half a block of Velveeta. This time I'm using a full block. And uh, when I say Velveeta, I mean Clancy's cheese melt, which costs half price at Aldi. So I'm all about balling on a budget, tastes the same and is a, is a half the price. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna put all of the sour cream in here. I know I'm probably, I may add a little bit more later on down the line, but for right now, we're gonna start off with this. Sour cream is not really a hard thing to get melted down because it is already so soft. It's not like the cheese or anything like that. So if we add a little bit in later on, it's not gonna be a big deal. Come out, show yourself. All right. So that is basically the rest of that jar right in there. Got it nice and mixed up. I did pull this out as well. This is the Casa Mamita jarred con, con salsa con queso from Aldi. I probably will not use it. I just figured if I needed a little bit extra or to thicken it up a little bit, this would be a nice option. So I did grab this just in case, but we probably won't put any of it in here. So the next thing I'm going to put in is cream. Oh, I'm gonna keep it from falling, first of all. Next thing I'm gonna put in is cream cheese. It's one block of cream cheese. It is going to take probably the longest to melt down because it is so uh, frozen and uh, not frozen, but like solidified. Is that the word that I'm looking for? Solidified in its texture. So I did cut it up just to make it a little bit easier. I always take my spatula and just run it along the, uh, the little tin foil inside as well to try and get all of it up there. And 
And I, I pulled out the cream cheese a while ago, so it's had a chance to kind of soften up even more than it already was. So it's seeming to go really nicely and melt down really nicely up in this little biznitch. But I'm going to, before I add anything else, give it another couple minutes just to try and work into a nice creamy paste. Okay, so we um, we let it cook down for about four minutes. I think Nikki got some really beautiful footage of it kind of melding all together and getting that nice creaminess. Right now it is definitely looking like a white queso. It will change when we add in the Velveeta substitute, the, uh, the cheese melt, the Clancy's cheese melt, if you will. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in two cans. They're each 10 ounces, so 20 ounces of the Casa Vomita diced tomatoes with green chilies, which is the knockoff version of Rotel. If you can't tell, I like knockoff versions of things because it saves me money. These little I don't care what brand it is, the Harris Teeter brand, the Food Line brand, whatever. The diced tomatoes with green chilies, that is something that I always like to have in my pantry because I love it. It just adds a little bit of flavor and spice to everything. I personally am a huge fan of it. So that is always something that I enjoy cooking with, which is why this this recipe is like really simple and also really delicious because it kind of makes everything a little bit easier because you got all these dimensions of flavor in these little cans for you. So that's really nice as well. Once again, I'm gonna give that like just a couple minutes. I'm gonna turn that back up to uh, medium, between medium high and high. So it's gonna be up pretty high. And I'm just gonna get it to like kind of boil down. It should, should take very little time because it was already pretty hot. And pretty much the whole time that I've got it on this high setting, I'm going to keep stirring it. I want it to not stick to the bottom. I wanna make sure that everything is nice and melted in together. So just a continuous stirring motion. You can see how like thick and chunky it is. It looks so good right now. But when we add in the other cheese, it'll kind of thin it out a little bit, but it's actually looking like it probably won't need much more sour cream or if any at all. And it should make us a really nice good size. Okay, it is gonna start popping, so I'm gonna turn it back down to medium low. And then we've got the, uh, the Clancy's cheese melt right here. And I'm just gonna drop them in. I did cut them up to hopefully make it be a little bit easier to melt down, but they seem to have restuck together because that's what this thing does. It's not cheese, I don't know what it is. It's cheese melt. I don't know what cheese melt is. Nailed it. All right, so I'm just gonna break that up and then I am gonna turn it back up just a little bit. Like I said, this is not a calorie counting meal. This is a meal that you eat when you want to self-indulge because you just don't care anymore because you're locked in your house. So who are you trying to impress? Just enjoy your queso and enjoy your life. Okay, so this is our final product. Nice and beautiful, very thick, nice texture to it. I did wind up going ahead and adding about half of this jar just because it was really, really thick, which is not a bad thing, but I just wanted to give it a little bit more cheese to it. So I did add half of this jar just to um, give it a little bit of a darker shade in terms of the orange yellow shade that it is. And then also to give it that extra viscosity. So. That being said, it is now time for the big reveal, the taste test. Uh, I did cheat. I had a little bit more when I was. It had a little bit of it when I was uh, uh, scooping into the bowl, and it was really good. So, Nikki, you want to come try some too? Sure. Do. Oh, you can go. You can go ahead. That's delicious. It's like, can you see how the smoky and hot it is mm -hmm. and that beautiful drip? Oh. You just like a hint of the tequila. Yeah, that's really good. So this is our quarantine queso. It's actually all the time queso, but we're in quarantine and I wanted queso and Nikki wanted queso and um, we, yeah, we're here to snack, so. That's what we're doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously it's very different than what we normally do content wise, um, but we're really excited, especially having our own house 
to be able to implement more of this kind of stuff, us cooking together, us showing you stuff that we like to make. Um, by no means are we professional chefs, just like I'm not a professional makeup artist. It's just stuff that we like to do and that's kind of what we're recording. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please let us know in the comments. That'd be really awesome if we could get some feedback so you guys could say, hey, I really like this or hey, don't do this again. It was the most boring thing I've ever uh, made halfway through. So uh, yeah, if you uh, did enjoy the video, then you should definitely consider subscribing to the page because we're really fun here and we're really bored. So we're doing a lot of uh, new things while we have this downtime. And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and as always have a wonderful day, but stay girly with a dark twist.